Hey guys, uh, my name's Steven. I'm the owner of Grass Monkeys here in Chattanooga, Cleveland. Um, <clears throat> I am, uh, I'm on a customer's lawn um, up here in Hickson. And, uh, you know, it seems like they, they've got a little bit of everything going on on their lawn. Uh, so I just wanted to make a quick video. So that way it's, uh, it's a good, good lawn to show you a little bit of everything. Um, it's a fescue lawn. Um, so I'm going to go over kind of some summer maintenance tips for fescue, uh, and you know, different things you'll, you'll run into, um, throughout the summer. You know, it's, it's not just what we do. Maintenance is, is, uh, just as important as what we do. Uh, we help it along, but if, if the maintenance is poor, then, uh, your results will be very poor as well. Um, so let me flip this around here. So this is a fescue lawn. Um, see, we've got different things going on. We've got some greener grass. We've got some brown grass. We've got some bare spots um, here. Uh, now, uh, our last visit, we were here six weeks ago, six, seven weeks ago. Uh, noticed the grass was being cut too low. Uh, told our client cut it higher. So they have cut it higher. Um, and uh, this is this is uh, where we're at right now. If uh, if it hadn't been cutting it higher, the whole yard would look like this. Um, I'll show you some other areas where it's being cut too low and uh, kind of what that'll look like. So first thing here is uh, we're gonna show you is this. Uh, you can see like they've got the dog leash here. This is where they let their dog out uh, to go outside and go to the bathroom. Um, you can see these uh, burn spots um, from the dog. Um, best way to avoid these is uh, to um, watch where your dog goes to the bathroom um, and uh, you know pour some water on it uh, spray it with the hose uh, you know something to dilute it because it's the it's the high ammonia content um, that heats up in the summer and it just cooks the grass um, so uh, the best way to avoid that like I said is to dilute it soon after if not immediately after um, so I know a lot of you, uh, you know, every, every yard, especially in Tennessee, you're going to have some uneven terrain like what we're looking at here. Um, <clears throat> like I said, the best height for fescue is four inches tall. Um, this grass here is, uh, is being cut, uh, looks like right at four inches, um, which is good, which is why you get this, this, uh, that deep dark green outside of these spots. Uh, you know, the grass really isn't struggling too, what, too much, so um, that's good there. But the problem here is that with this hill, uh, it's scalping. The mower, lawnmower is scalping as it comes over. And this grass right here uh, looks like it's about two to three inches tall. Um, and it's got some growth on it, so it's probably, once he's a, got a fresh cut, it's about two inches tall, which is way too short. Uh, this here, um, if you know if this continues to be cut short, this will be completely dead um, by the end of the summer. We're we're just now at the end of May, so we're just starting to get into the hot part of the summer. Um, so there's time. There should be time to to salvage it and you know get this looking like the rest of it. Um, the best way would be to mow it long ways, um, and uh, if you have a higher setting. Uh, you know put it on that higher setting when it's uh when you're doing this part um uh and that that's going to be the best way and you know uh, trim with the string trimmer if you have any areas that are really going to scalp and you, it's unavoidable you know trim it with your weed eater or string trimmer whatever you call it whatever you want to call it um <clears throat> so you know again this is all uh looks looks uh the grass itself looks decent there's some bare spots but i want to come over here to the uh where it looks really rough See, there's a lot of bumps here. So whenever the mower is coming over these bumps, um, it's really scalping. And you can see, I mean, you can almost see the dirt right here. This is only, I mean, it's not even an inch tall. That's gonna be bare dirt. That grass is already dead. It's probably not salvageable in that area. Um, it's too late to plant any seed uh, or anything like that. That's just something that's gonna have to be repaired in the fall. Um, the best thing to do about this is just be very careful. Be mindful of how low you're going of your terrain. Um, and uh, that's a, you know immediate solution. Uh, a, a more permanent solution would be to you know have some dirt um, put in these holes 
Uh, that's really going to be the only way to avoid this scalping in the long term. Um, uh, so uh, coming over here, again, we've got really rocky soil. Um, one of the things about rocky soil is this rock, you know, in the summertime is going to heat up. Um, you know, kind of like, you know, when you walk barefoot ac across the carport or concrete or, you know, asphalt, it burns, it hurts your feet. Uh, these rocks act as the same thing. Um, have a lot of rocks in Tennessee, so it's a common thing. Best thing to do is to get some uh, premium topsoil um, and, you know, put as much as you can. Um, peat moss works good too, but the more you can do, the better. Uh, the more dirt you can mix in there and put on top and just lay it lay it right on top and rake it in um, this area is is pretty much toast um, it, it it pretty much gets full sun it gets scalp it's got the rocks this area is uh definitely toast already in may and uh it's, it's terrible to say um <clears throat> but uh you can also see here kind of uh you know there's a there's a big difference in um the grass you can see the green stripe and then you can kind of see where it it turns brown this is definitely something to do with water um, there's something going on with the water here because uh, this is what grass looks like when it has water this is what it looks like when it doesn't um, you know a couple things the water could be coming down the hill getting stopped by the road and then just running down um, so that way that, that's why this this water here is, or this strip here is getting water and this is not, um, it could be many things, um, but definitely this is uh, definitely a sign of, of this, this area getting water versus not. Um, now, the best way to tell, uh, to actually tell, is you wanna go up to the leaf blade. Now, this is what a leaf blade looks like. Uh, hopefully you can see that there. That is uh, not, excuse me, not, uh, not water stress it's flat it's wide open it's not curled at all um, now a leaf blade that is stressed out from water um, it's gonna it's gonna curl in like a straw so it's gonna be really thin hopefully you can see that there it's gonna be really thin uh, you know and curled in like a straw um, that's the best way to tell another thing here um, that is causing a problem is the lawnmower blades that are cutting it are not sharp. So you can see here, um, hopefully you can see, let me, yeah, you can see there, it, it's not a clean cut. It's more like a tear. If you were to take two, you know, take a, a leaf blade, a grass leaf blade and just tear it in half, it's not gonna be an even tear. That's going to, uh, that's gonna create a lot of stress um, and make the grass more vulnerable to uh, fungus, disease, stress, all those things you don't want in the summer. Um, so, uh, you know, keeping those lawnmower blades sharp are very important. Um, one more thing about watering. A you know, big question, how do you water fescue in the summer? Well, we recommend people uh, twice a week um, at 45 minutes per zone um, during the summer. Um, spring and, and fall, you don't really need to water unless, you know, it's for some reason we're in a dry spell. Um, you know, the best way to tell if you need to water is to watch it. Um, if you see the luster, if you will, kind of dull, or if you see the green in it dull a little bit, go out there and look for those curled uh, straw-like fescue blades. I'll tell you you need to water. Go ahead and water for 45 minutes per zone that'll spruce it right back up it doesn't take long for fescue to kind of revive itself once it gets that water those those curled leaf blades will open back up within the same day even um sometimes and uh that will uh that'll help you that's the best way is to watch it um you know if you're unable to watch it if we don't get rain uh, if we don't get substantial rain within a week Make sure you're getting water on it twice a week, uh, 45 minutes each zone. Now, some soil types retain water better than others, so that 45 minutes may vary depending on your soil type. Um, so, uh, you know, the taller you can cut it as well will help. The, the height of that grass will protect the underneath water from evaporating all the way versus the low one inch, two inch tall fescue. 
uh, you know, that, that stuff will evaporate, you know, immediately and uh, definitely cause it some stress. Uh, so anyways, this is uh, just a short little video. Uh, well, you know, we're in 10 minutes now. It's not short, but uh, educational video on fescue. Uh, it's very, very important that we maintain fescue right throughout the summer. That's going to be that's going to be the deal breaker. Um, you know, our products will help and, you know, we use the best products available. And uh, but during the summer, if, if, if you're not maintaining it right, it's uh, it's going to be a rough it's going to be a rough summer. So, um, like I said, main things, bullet points, cut it high four inches. Make sure your blades are sharp and uh, get that water on it twice a week. Uh, do those things and you should be good to go. You'll have a nice, good looking, great looking lawn um, all summer if you can do those things. So uh, just let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we're happy to help. Happy to come out and look at your lawn and give you a personal analysis of what's going on with your lawn and uh, what we can do, what you can do uh, as a team to get it looking better. So um love hearing from you um love our customers and uh hope you have a good summer bye